I gotta get in shape and start beating people up again, said Denzel Washington, and he already did. His skilled vigilante character Robert McCall is coming back for a third time in the remarkable action movie series The Equalizer. After his first appearance in 2014, he became a real superhero who stands and protects those who have no one to turn to. Stay with us in the next couple of minutes and find out all the details about the upcoming Equalizer 3 movie. Let's start with a quick recap of what happened when we last saw McCall in action. One of the greatest action movies in Denzel Washington's career is based on the 1980 series of the same name. The first two films were no doubt huge hits at the box office and brought a different kind of action to the big screen. They are not only a classic action where one guy kills a different kind of mafia members and thugs. Those movies have some kind of soul and a great story. The first movie had its premiere on September 7, 2014, where we first met former Marine and Defense Intelligence agent. Robert McCall lives an ordinary life, and nothing suggests that he is a trained and skilled ex-agent. He has an ordinary job in a market, drinks his coffee, and reads his books in a coffee shop. One day, he meets Alina, a young sex worker who has been harassed by the members of the Russian Mafia. They will become friends, but later, he will witness how the Mafia members are brutally beating her. After this, nothing will be the same. McCall will give the thugs a chance, as he said, to do the right thing by releasing her. He will even offer them money to buy her freedom. But after it is obvious that there is no way to make a deal, he'll deal with them in another way, by brutally killing them. The first Equalizer film managed to get a revenue of over $192 million worldwide, and it has a great 7.2 rating on IMDb. These numbers were good enough for a sequel in 2018. This time, McCall is a Lyft driver and has a bunch of things to do. He's helping an older person to recover a painting that was stolen from his family and encouraging a young boy to go on the right path in life to paint a mural instead of using drugs. Also, he'll have to go on a freelance assignment to Istanbul and recover a nine-year-old girl who has been kidnapped by her father. But everything changes when one day his friend Susan will fly to Belgium to investigate a murder-suicide of an agency affiliate and his wife. But she will also be killed in a hotel room. McCall will have to step up again and hit that like button below the video right now. No, really. He'll be soon on the case utilizing his extraordinary intuition and his extraordinary killing skills to track down Susan's murderers and wipe them out. The second movie had almost the same success as the first one, grossing around $190 million worldwide. But it seems that something was missing, so the fans didn't praise it with the same grades. But almost everybody knew that this wasn't the end of Robert McCall's story. And only days after Equalizer 2 premiere, there were constant talks that there will be a third film to complete the trilogy. Now, after almost five years after the second movie, we have a release date. Once again, it is proved good things happen to those who wait. And finally, Equalizer 3 will hit the theaters on September 1, 2023. The movie will be the fifth collaboration between Washington and Fuqua following Day, Bot Equalizer Movies, and The Magnificent Seven. The production started back in 2018 when Fuqua announced his plans to continue the film series. The movie was officially confirmed in January last year. The shooting took place in some interesting locations like Amalfi Coast and Naples in Italy, while the wrap of the production will happen this month in Rome. So fingers crossed guys and let's hope that everything will go according to plan and there will not be any delays on the premiere date. If you look at the Sony Pictures theatrical calendar for 2023, there's hope that everything stands just like it is. Equalizer 3 was announced together with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and Madame Web. Now let's take a look at the cast crew for the third film. Who's coming back and who is new in the crew? Everybody will agree that Washington was accompanied by some great acting names in the previous two films. From Russian Mafia executor Martin Sokas as Teddy in the first film, to Narcos and Mandalorian star Pedro Pascal as Dave York in the second one. Melissa Leo portrayed McCall's friend Susan in both films, and Chloe Grace Moretz played by the young girl Alina. The most interesting thing to see in the third film will be one of the biggest reunions after 18 years. 
you probably remember the 2004 Man on Fire, where Denzel was portraying a former CIA agent who was protecting a little girl named Pita Ramos. Well, how can you forget that kind of innocent girl on the big screen? Yes, that was Dakota Fanny. She was only 10 years old back then, and she joined Washington in the third Equalizer movie. For a long time, Washington and Fanning were the only actors whose names were revealed for the movie, and that was until November of last year, when six other cast members joined. Now we also have Eugenio Mastrandea from Scratch, Remo Garone from Ford vs. Ferrari, Sonia Amar from Scream, Danielle Perone from Baria, Andrea Scarduzio from Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, and Andrea D'Addario from Blanco 181. As you can see, they are almost all Italian actors, so smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell below the video right now. No, really, with so many Italians in the cast, you can probably guess in which direction the action will go. There were some speculations that Bill Pullman, who reprised his role in both previous films, will also join the cast for the third one, but it seems he's not coming back. Now, let's find some more details about the movie and take a look if there is any information about how the story will go. Besides Antoine Fuqua, who took the director's chair for a third time, Richard Wink, who adopted the classic TV series of the same name in the 1980s and wrote the script for the second film, probably did the same good job again. Every detail about in which direction the story will go is kept under wraps by now. Back in 2018, Fuqua revealed that he will send McCall somewhere in Europe, and he did. We now know that he left his house in Massachusetts, where we last saw him and traveled across the ocean to Italy. Washington also shared some information while promoting the movie about Macbeth, so I gotta get in shape and start beating people up again. I get to beat people up again. The tragedy of Macbeth and then going and beating some people up can't get any better, right? Said the actor. There isn't any official trailer for the movie so we can't guess what's going to happen yet. So the possibilities are limitless at this time. Our hero was excellent at dealing with the Russians and Albanians, so maybe the Italian Mafia members are next on his list. One thing is sure, he will be once again in favor of those who are weak and have no one to protect them. Probably there won't be as much blood as in the previous two movies, and we'll see some different kinds of story. Maybe we'll learn much more about McCall's previous life as an intelligence agent and Marine. We are now less than nine months until the premiere, and with the production process finishing in January, then we could expect that many things will be known until the summer, when of course, we'll have some more clues about the plot details, and of course, there will always be another video. Until then, you can always re-watch the previous two Equalizer films. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.